so I've been trying to get a video out to you guys for the last two days and every time I'm being stopped, blocked, <laughs> canceled, deleted, I don't know what the fuck is going on y'all and I am definitely returning all types of negative energies, whatever is trying to be projected will stop me from getting this message back to the sender and I'm asking for angelic support so I'm asking y'all to touch and agree with me with this okay so this is my hundredth attempt this is a new day i made a video yesterday it was extremely dope y'all um but i did it from my my laptop right because i was trying to multitask and do other people's readings and then record from another device it got all the way up to 95 percent processing and it wouldn't go no further i deleted the video uploaded it again deleted it uploaded it again nothing okay gave up came back tried to do it again whole camera just shut down all right so energetically, I don't know what's happening, but Virgo, you will hear this message, okay? You will hear this, and I am asking for my spiritual team to show up and show out for this. Thank you so much. Y'all, this is a Virgo energy update, okay? Take this message how it resonates. We're all on different timelines, y'all. Okay, so you could be having this experience now. You may not be experiencing it at all. But guess what? My spirit guides are always dropping jewels. Okay, so take note. All right, leave what you leave what you don't need. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Okay, stay in a positive mindset. If your sun, moon, or rising is in Virgo, welcome to my channel. Venus, Virgo, how you doing? Virgo lovers, what's up? All right, y'all. So I'm gonna set my intentions because we need to be on the same page energetically here. Then I'm gonna jump right in. I just just said forget it. I'm starting all over. Okay, I'm starting all over. Okay, maybe spirit they may not want me to deliver the message, you know. But I'm starting all over here, and we are gonna see what flows with this. Okay, so thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this collective reading for Virgo. Please watch over us and protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you. I ask that you stop and shut down anything that's trying to block this video from being posted or this message from getting across speaking through me as loud as possible as uh, ever right now spirit god i thank you so much for protecting me also and covering me with your wonderful white lights protecting me from any spell work negative energies anything being projected towards me thank you for closing all communication to anyone or anything that's not in alignment with this community or this community's um actual uh thank you spirit come to me my community guidelines thank you thank you for using me as the messenger and so it is all right y'all this is why i didn't wasn't able to deliver you a message yesterday i did it it just was like <laughs> didn't work y'all but i am getting really emotional about it why because it gets frustrating <laughs> okay it's like no matter what you do to you know, make these devices work. I upgrade my systems. I try different techniques. And sometimes it just always has to be some type of energy trying to block the message. All right. But I'm not going to get frustrated with it because I do recognize the power that I do hold. All right. And just like me, Virgo, you do too. I'm part of the collective here and we are working together. A lot of y'all are on my timeline. All right. So let's see what the energies are like for you today. Thank you, my spirit guide. Can you give us the update on Virgo's energy? What's happening in Virgo's life or situation? What is it that you, Virgo, you want Virgo to know? Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Thank you. Okay, so it's a man holding a coin, all right? And this is someone here that um, may be connected to money some kind of way or some someone that you may value, all right? Now, there's some drama that, that's going on, okay? So for the most part, um, whatever this drama is, this is what's keeping your person here from taking action on something, all right? So something's happening right now, and that may be stopping them. Whatever it is, it could be just, you know, they may feel oppressed themselves, right? Their own emotional anxiety. Or this may be you, Virgo, that may feel like this, all right? And you may be, like, delaying something or not taking action on it because it, whatever's happening with this drama, you may just be like, I don't know. I need to take a step back, all right? So let's see what this is about. I'm going to jump right into my tarot, and we're going to see what this drama is about thank you spirit for uh showing me what i need to see what is this drama about here 
what's happening here. Thank you. It's about a queen of swords in reverse. So let's jump in right into this karmic person. And see, this may be what the problem is. It's karmic energy that's probably trying to block this reading. Mind you guys, I am a part of the collective, okay? So the karm the queen of swords in the reverse is basically someone who is very bitchy, cold-hearted, all right? They are toxic, or this is energy. There may be a toxic relationship here that you're connected to. And you may have had to end it because it was toxic, right? Or this person was toxic um, and manipulative. But let's see. Thank you. What is this Queen of Swords referencing here, Spirit? Thank you. What? It's the, it's the baby mama, all right? Definitely feminine energy, y'all. Definitely a, a, a female energy. It's a baby mother, okay? So... For the most part, you are the empress. You are the empress. You literally are manifesting here um, exactly what you want is what I'm hearing. And then the drama is about you. The higher font card is in the reverse. Tell me about this spirit. Why is this card in the reverse? It's about you and about you, about your person here maybe not following this process. All right. The temperance card in the reverse is creating an imbalance here. The hermit card is in the reverse. All right. So someone definitely is trying to uh, return back to you, Virgo. All right. So your person is trying to return back to you. And they're not trying to follow a certain process here with this queen of swords in the reverse okay and this queen of swords is in the reverse is definitely not feeling that all right and for the most part right it's creating a balance here and this uh person your person let's just put it that way your person is has a very clear vision here of what it is that they want right now and they want to be able to work in harmony with you and this other person here is not with it all right thank you So after a period of time of you literally withdrawing your energy from your person here, it gave them some time to really do some reflecting here or soul searching, however it is, to gain some insight about themselves, okay? And your person here literally is trying to return back to you. Queen of Cups in the uh, upright position would be you, Virgo, all right? So you, they got a lot of compassion for you, okay? A lot of compassion for you. You you have been very supportive of this person, and I, and I, I feel like... What was coming to me is awakened. Thank you for showing me what I need to see. They're reevaluating here how much you have been an anchor for them and how much you have been supporting them. Okay. And how you haven't been in that opposite energy of being insecure. You really haven't been needy towards them or codependent, right? They haven't had to walk around eggshells with you because being afraid that somebody's going to get mad and be explosive, right? Or be overbearing here. Okay. So they're thinking about these things and this is where they're making these decisions here. And I, I really feel like, you know, it's creating creating this situation wow hold on one second y'all it's creating this energy the calm the will card is out that's karma all day long so you know things are going to get better y'all regardless you can't stop karma like you cannot stop the will from turning you know and this this other person is trying to stop that from happening for the most part, right? But the will is still turning. Spirit is like, mm, no, you can't, you can't change fate. And something here is definitely keeping someone scattered in their thinking. Thank you. Tell me what this is about, or even defensive. What is this about? Thank you. So it was masculine energy. So for the most part here, they're they're probably defensive or they're probably being very stubborn about something here, but they're ready to get some things done. So they're at this point now here where it's like, you know, I'm ready to continue to go towards a pursuit here. 
or take action here, right? But now I'm still being blocked. I'm still being blocked. This is kind of similar to my message yesterday, y'all, where I said the karmic is really trying to burn your person at the stake. And that was the message, and I could not get it through, y'all. Yeah, I said you're, you have not heard from this person because the karmic is literally trying to block this. And they're trying to burn your person at the stake. And it's still the same thing. They're coming in as the king of pentacles in the upright position. They're ready to bring something serious to you guys' connection. Or they're ready to establish something here with you guys so that they can reach a certain milestone here. But they're being restricted here, okay? Or it's something here that's making them clouded in their judgment it's when it comes to you, okay? And it has a lot to do with them needing to really face some fears that they have um, in order to gain a clearer perspective here and to take some type of control over their life, right? But they still is like, my Virgo is so fucking generous, so caring, okay? They offer me stability. I, you know, and they know they have to come to you correct because you do have some high standards. This is why they're trying to reconcile back with you. They want to come back and they want to be able to resolve this with you here um, because you already are. You bring the balance here. Okay. You bring the balance here. Wow. Thank you. But it's, it's, it's some arguments that are going on, some type of dispute here that's going on here. Um, and that's what the drama is about. All right, so right now I'm energetically picking up on your person. The lover's card in the reverse, the king, the world, and the nine of pentacles. These cards came out before in the devil card, okay? So with the lover's card, this is where the imbalance is coming in that, the disharmony. Your person had made a choice. And what they were choosing is to, to, to literally come into union with you, okay? At what point, it was still like I made a decision. I cannot let go of my person, I am not letting go of my Virgo here, but something is definitely overwhelming them, making them feel extremely anxious at this moment here. And now they're back here. <laughs> and it's almost like, I don't want to say it's like an obsession, but that's what's coming to me. You know how it's like, regardless of what this person feels, I am going to complete this cycle. Okay? This is going to come full, so, full circle. I'm going to complete this cycle. I'm going to achieve this. Look at this. Nine of Pentacles in an upright position. So, you may even feel like, it's like one of these things where your person here, they, they worry about, um, they want to be sufficient, self-sufficient, okay? And, and a lot of their um, ideas is being uh, materially satisfied, okay? But you're this balance between being spiritual and materially satisfied. So, you definitely reach this stage in your life where you're you're confident, or you're independent, you're self-sufficient, right? And you know how to overcome some difficulties regardless. It's like you're still going. You go at things head on. You take chances and all of that, right? But your person here just literally still has this thing where they're kind of worried about um, having to depend on people or even having to have people that's connected to them that are codependent, right? That they may have to provide or take care of or things like that, right? Now, but for the most part here, it's like they have this feeling here where they feel empty without you, you know? Where they feel like they're incomplete for the most part without you being there. And they're trying to literally reach some type of milestone for themselves where they can literally have, um, be a financially stable couple on top of that. So that's coming to me, right? Now, and it's like, this is what their determination is. This is almost as if this is a, a conditioned way of thinking for them because something may have happened in their past here that made them feel powerless, especially when it comes to having um, financial stability, right? And um, and this is what they are definitely addicted to, reaching that or achieving that, okay? Um, for the most part, um, I don't, you know... Maybe this karmic person here is someone here who may have offered that. And that was spoken of in my last video that I did that I couldn't upload. <laughs> 
So yeah, they want to reach, they want to be able to reach success. So they're looking for rewards and recognition for the most part, right? And they, they want that. They want to be able to take their talents, their strength, and all of that and have this successful outcome, okay? And for the most part here, you know, it's, it's, it's a relationship imbalance, and that may be where it is. It's like you guys are not materialistic, okay? And you guys are more um, uh, spiritually balanced, right? That's more what the aspect is. It's like, okay, yeah, that's it, right? But then it's almost as if, like, from my reading yesterday, and I'm remembering this shit because it's there, it's stuck. This comic person here literally was trying to offer um, that. All right. So whatever they were trying to offer, it was like that is what was enticing them to literally uh, connect back with this karmic person or even making a decision here or being stuck in making that decision. Because it's like, OK, my main goal is being financially stable and secure. And this person is saying that I'll be able to achieve that. They're not going to make me stuck. You know, this family structure or dynamic or whatever we got going on here is not going to keep me from being able to reach my independence. Okay. And they may be offering them something here that's not true. And in reality, with my last reading that I did, that just when my camera shut down, it basically was breaking down this karmic person. Okay. And with that, it was saying here that um, it's that's a lie. Spirit is saying here that that's a lie. Okay, and then what's going to end up happening, and that's going to be your person's karma, is that they're going to end up hoarding all of the responsibilities. So whatever obligations they have with this person is going to be one-sided. And they, they're going to literally be taking on all the responsibilities here in that situation. Okay, and that comes from, I guess, that thinking, that always, you know, mindset and things like that. For them making a choice to choose this person over you, if that is what happened, right? Where they're going to get... A equally balanced relationship or connection if they align with you okay being that some of you guys are connected to a higher level soulmate right thank you now what's hidden that Virgo needs to see or hear it's a lot of pressure Okay, so right now, what's happening here, your person did be doubting themselves for real, but they got a lot of pressure here that's weighing on them from this, and, and it's a lot of drama for the most part, right? Now, um, and of course, y'all already know why, because this other person literally is challenging your position. That's it. They're challenging it. But guess what's coming out? The Ace of Wands in the upright position next to my um, Ten of Wands. The Ace of Wands is saying, look. You're going to get a new beginning, all right? This is leading to whatever this could be. New projects, career, future success, new beginnings, good results, honey. Your person's going to put the burden down, all right? They're going to put that burden down. They are burdened by that situation, and it will become a obli another obligation is what Spirit is saying. There's going to be a phone call, y'all. Spec the phone call, text message, however it goes. Thank you. Your person gonna come rushing in. At first, they weren't taking action, right? Because of the drama, they coming in and they gonna want to give to you, okay? Knight of Swords with my Six of Pentacles. And this ain't slow movement. This is determination. Like, fuck, let me go get my person here, because <laughs> I'm about to be all caught up in some mess. And, and I, I don't. They realize something is. They got an epiphany. Thank you, spirit. And they realizing here, like, I need to give to my Virgo. Why? Because, yeah, we're going to be, we're going to benefit each other. Really, th this is going to be something that's going to be beneficial when it comes to you guys sharing your wealth. Okay, getting rid of debt, whatever that is, right? Creating more wealth. Wow. This is why they're going to be rushing in. Thank you. It's a lot of pressure there, but they are definitely burdened by that situation and they're feeling way down. They're feeling way down by it. Thank you. Yep, page of cups. Something is getting ready to come to you out of the blue. Your person just doesn't know how to channel this energy here. All right, they're trying to figure out how to express this, which is basically how do I express to Virgo that, you know, I'm gonna give to them now. <laughs> 
All right, I can see the bigger picture now. <laughs> I see it. I couldn't see it at first. All right. But now I see it. You know, we had our little talk or whatever. And oh, I connected the dots. Maybe you are the prize. You know, they see it now. I mean, they do have a lot of love for you. They coming out in an upright position. Your person sees the value. Okay. They're in an upright position, which means that they're not out to, uh, that's going against your best interest. Just put it that way. But a lot of uh, the way that your person was thinking is all about this. Uh, materialism okay not love materialism greed things like that um, tell me what's coming out of the blue here. the person's thinking about this cup here and how they can turn one fish into two fish into three fish into four fish with you look king of Pentacles in an upright position they're coming in ready to turn or translate this vision into something tangible Okay, so they're seeing it. It's like, oh shit, I can see the possibilities now. Wait a minute, I need to lay down these burdens here. So they had an issue because they thought that you may be someone who mismanages your money. Okay, and that was one of the issues. This ain't gonna be for everybody. This seems like this is this is for only a certain few or if you know you be fucking up your money say you may not be but you may have come um a long way so say like you may have started out on housing authority then you got off a of housing authority and then you got a little job you know and then you got the job and you were uh having a room you had roommates so you didn't have your own place you had roommates to help you get back on your feet then next thing you know you on your own and you know you're making sixty seventy thousand dollars a year to a hundred thousand dollars a year you're paying sixteen seventeen hundred dollars in rent you know you're constantly just um uh, evolving and growing and growing but at one time you didn't know how to manage your money and you didn't know how to um, prioritize your money you didn't pay your bills things like that right but they this is what they remember and this is what they seen and this is what they fear like that's one of their biggest fear so that was one of the things here that really had connected them to you know why they weren't actually it's like you had 85% of everything and that was the or 90% of everything, but your financial life was just like in a disarray. That's just examples I'm using, y'all. All right. And I mean, we got a lot of pentacles coming up. So it, it does feel like a lot of this is about some money, money situations and stabilities and things like that. And, you know, having that. Okay. Now, yeah, some truth is going to be revealed. All right, y'all, because the hangman is in the reverse. So, I'm sorry, mm, Seven of Swords is in the reverse. So, that's about, you know, confessions. Where someone was here being deceptive, lying, shit like that. A lot of conflict. Some truth is going to come, um, is going to be revealed here. All right. Now, and the hangman is also, y'all, in the reverse. All of that stalling? Mm -mm. Someone now sees, uh, has a new perspective about you guys' situation here. You guys may have had a conversation just recently. If you haven't, the conversation is coming up and set it with the phone call or even they may even come to you. Okay, they may call you and ask, when can we link, all right? And we can talk, okay? And they were resistant to a new way of thinking for real and that was what it was that's what the stuff that's why they were blocked and why they were stuck all right and why they couldn't move forward i mean people have a lot to do with it too but it also had a lot to do with circumstances surrounding their financial stability on top of that right their money things like that thank you sir wow Anything else for it that needs to be known? Yep. Two of Wands and an upright. Now they're looking for looking towards the future here. And they're trying to make the right choices now. Okay. That's pretty much it. A lot of stuff that they they their ideas and stuff that were you know, it's just a lot of deception and, and them doing things in unorthodox ways. But it's like, oh shit, now I can see. Now I can see here. Thank you. What's going to happen with this karmic situation? Oh, wow. Queen of Wands and the Reverse and the Empress. 
that's you virgo you just popped out empress upright position queen of wands in a reverse position that is the karmic person of course we know this karmic person may be pregnant or it may be someone they have children by right or it could just be a mother figure but you spirit is saying look let me tell you something sweethearts even if you're mask or a male you can be empress energy embody that energy but if you don't want to be called the empress mother because you are the emperor okay but just you know take this it's just energy y'all but for the most part here you know how to uh manifest you signify abundance honey okay your presence alone shows up as abundance okay you birth new ideas all the time and you become abundant from birthing those ideas all right so remember that you got a strong connection to your femininity and that's that's awesome you sit on the throne okay let me in this queen of wands in the reverse it's going to be demanding very revengeful and temperamental okay on top of hormonal honey for those of the ones who have babies or pregnant you know so tell me about this queen of wands here in the reverse here so, woo, conflict honey conflict high priestess in the reverse queen of pentacles in the reverse look at this shit y'all mm, i'm gonna show you conflict all right so it will be conflict it is arguments that's what the drama is about okay if it ain't happening it's going to happen it's brewing is what spirit is saying and it's gonna it has a lot to do with that financial stability this queen of wands may have seen your person here or your person may have seen them as someone here that you know it's about the money <laughs> you know it's about the money what can i get from this person you know, that gold digger energy, that selfish energy, you know, this could, could be something they were projecting back and forth to each other. This queen of wands may have been looking at your person like this is about the money. Okay. And that's what it really, you know, what it is. It's about my financial stability right now. Okay. Now with this high priestess here in a reverse position, the high priestess uses their power wrongly all the time. All right. So that could be some spell work involved in this. All right. This, this literally is someone who is highly intuitive connected to the spirit realm but they do things through deception okay and this is what spirit is saying this is a deceptive energy here this person is deceiving someone here whoever's operating in that if it's this, your person here or if it's uh their karmic person thank you tell me about this high priestess in the reverse king of cups in the reverse god damn Okay, so Spirit is basically saying, you know, this is untrustworthy. Your person was lacking some moral sense, and that's what it was about here, y'all. That's what the hidden motives were about. But I have my ten of swords, man. Something is going to come out of this that's going to create um, anxiety, a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear. All right, your person may even still be up up at night conflicted okay and for the most part this queen of wands may have something to do with that thank you basically what i'm talking about has something to do with that as far as whatever juju <laughs> whatever juju this trick is doing it may be causing the conflict the mental conflict okay now with the higher front card here again this is about following a certain process and what i'm hearing is that oh whatever this person is doing they're doing something to keep them in an anxious state so they won't follow this process with you the empress but you're the empress so it's it's you're the you're the divine the feminine okay so nothing trumps the empress i said that in one reading like you can't compete with the empress this person is going to try to compete with you here and that's what they've been doing the whole time but your person let me tell you something they're learning some things here and they're realizing here that they're they are their own teacher all right so they're starting to learn some lessons here and to evaluate some stuff that they've been through look at this shit lovers <laughs> that's it choices lovers you guys it doesn't matter the process that they're going to follow here is going towards this that's what the choice is the lovers and this is what this karmic person is has been trying to block 
they know for a fact that your person here is definitely going to be giving into you. They know, they know about you. That's what I'm hearing. Thank you. I need to pull something else, y'all. 30 minutes. Thank you. <clears throat> Show me what I need to see. Your person is saying, look, I want you in my life. Okay? I want you. I'm burdened by my karmic. This karmic person want, is, is literally coveting you. This person wants to be you, Divine Femme. They want you, your position. Okay? And that card came out already. They covet you. They covet what you two have. All right? And that's what they're trying to take. Okay? Check out my Libra reading. That Libra reading is almost similar to this. It's like that reading was speaking of um, Libra. You have an important life purpose. Okay? And the devil was trying to take that. All right? You have a, an important purpose with your lover. All right? The devil would represent double energy, but the karmic also comes with that double double energy. This karmic is going to try to expose some of this um, your person's secrets here. So they still, your person still, that's where the deception is coming in at. Your person is still lying to this karmic about you. <clears throat> but this karmic is a high priestess, so this karmic already knows, right? They've seen it already. They may do tarot already. They may have, may watch tarot, you know, but they already know. They're intuitive here. And your person, that's the part your person can't see I, I, because they don't tap into their intuition and they may not be as spiritual and they don't see it, all right? Now... What is the secret that this karmic is exposing? Hold on, y'all. I want to pull together some more cards. I need tarot. We're going to get this video going, y'all. Thank you, Spirit. What we say, we return all spell work, negative energies, projections, evil eyes back to the sender tenfold. Thank you. Alright, so what's being exposed by this comic about the divine masculine, about this masculine? <clears throat> so they're gonna be telling about how they're going about getting or reaching something dealing with prosperity or building their foundation, something dealing with how they're getting their happiness and how they're doing it in an artificial or unorthodox way. All right. So it's some deception in how they are obtaining their, um, their foundation, right? Whatever that may be. All right. With the page of swords is they're going to be communicating this and it, everything that they know they're ready to share that. They will share that information here to try. It's, it's going to be for their own personal gain for, for the most part, right? So that your person here will not do this personal transition for the most part, all right? Um, they've been holding back on expressing that truth for a minute, but they're going to end up acting hasty about this, right? And try to come out about this. And it has something to do with something your person is working on or maybe something that's dealing with work. Okay, so whatever the secret is, it could either be around something that they've been working on or something here um, that they've been trying to build for themselves because your person has been applying themselves here with something. Your person may also be changing careers or even going to school here, doing something with finances, maybe changing jobs. But the way that they're getting or obtaining these jobs may be through some unorthodox ways or something here is that I'm picking up. And this karmic person may start trying to speak about it again thank you tell me about this mm. so with my um eight of swords in the reverse oh wow you know your person was feeling trapped right by their circumstances period just in their head for the most part right and there's a lot of uh, limiting self um beliefs right but the thing is is like when that eight of swords is in the reverse it's like they're releasing some of that energy here and they're not they literally they're releasing that shit hold on one second y'all eight of swords in a reverse real quick eight of swords reverse Got it. Come on. 
So, yeah. So when they do this, it's going to prevent them from moving on because of your person's own codependencies here, because of their own limited self-beliefs, that will prevent them from moving on for the most part. All right. They, your person has to literally change their belief system. Um, and they really be, let me tell you, <laughs> they prevent their own selves. It, it, it be them here. Okay. That stop them from being able to move forward. They tell themselves that they don't deserve this stuff. Okay, but it's not really there because the abundance is being offered to your person here. Um, now, with this two of uh, pentacles here, of course, it's dealing it's dealing with them, you know, making decisions here. Wow, ah, my battery started to die, y'all. Ah, hold on. So it's about them making these decisions here, right? So something is definitely going to be communicated, y'all, because your person's been juggling. But the thing is, it's going to make them, they're trying to make your person feel hopeless. But guess what? It's a test of faith. So spirit is trying to get your person to this point to remember that they are connected to source here to see if they're going to trust in the universe here with this, okay? Because they have endured a whole lot of stuff here, but they have to remember who they are connected to. Look at the devil in this card. Queen of Swords. Your, this person here is ruthless. Okay, they're very bitchy here. And they, they definitely here. Look, with the King of Wands, they're trying to end your person. They're trying to end your person and make them to the point where they're not going to be ready here to step into that role and keep them here in this devil energy. They're trying to keep your person oppressed so that they won't come in and recognize you. So they won't come in and reach a personal milestone here. So your person has connected themselves here with the enemy. This is why so much drama here and your person can't see it. What are they lying to this karmic about my Virgos? <clears throat> so they're trying to say that they're not offering you anything okay and that you are a part of the past they are in a new cycle they are worrying about you know their money and that they're not going back to this right and they're saying here right that that's what they're really focusing on for real right their milestones and in, in, in um having i guess you would say good fortune like more money right the sun card here them going towards a new beginning and they released you. So that's all it is. It's just basically saying that, you know, you're not in the equation here. It, it don't have nothing to do with you. And why they're trying to make these personal milestones here. But this karmic person here definitely, definitely know what's up. All right. Again, high priestess person. Yep. They're saying here that. Oh, it's going to be something here that's going to be unexpected and it's going to cause a delay here. But they're really trying to say here that they're not trying to expand with you or nothing. It's nothing happening here. Okay, what's these unexpected delays about? <laughs> Look at you coming in. Yep, they're trying to say here, your person does not want to end it with you. You, you. Let me tell you. They're saying it's you that won't because you love them. You won't leave them alone. Okay, but you have definitely that they're moving on. And they're going into a new phase of their life here. But the, your person is not transitioning from you. They don't want to leave you. Look at this. Ace of Cups and the Hermit card in the reverse. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to say that they're going after... Um, they're going after that Ace of Cups. Like, they're going after everything, right? But it's not including you. They have released you. They're saying that they moved on from you. But your person, that's not what's really happening here. Your person literally is coming into you coming towards you sorry so that's what the lies about a bunch of bullshit right and this is why your um your person here still gets caught up in these karmic cycles um they really have to speak some truth thank you all right so let me pull a few more cards y'all then i'm gonna get ready to let y'all go okay and hopefully i'll be able to get this video up <laughs> thank you what is it that record needs to know in regards to this Look at this wedding rings. What I tell you, they coming to you. This is union. Y'all got a five D union here. Um, either that or your person here is what they thinking about is marrying you. Y'all have this soul connection here. This is something here that's eternal love, y'all. Come, it can't nothing come in between that. Your person is going to make a healthy choice. You can't compare the empress to the queen of wands in reverse. And this person here keeps thinking that they can have upper uh, upper um hand or have clout here because they are with child or have children by this person and because they've been doing some type of spell works that are not 
manifesting. Okay, they're backfiring. Not all of them may be, but spell work also is through words. You can project some certain things and you can speak things and manifest that. And this person here literally is using a lot of deception here. There's a lot of hidden um, truths. Let's put it that way. But guess what? You take this time and you heal from this heartbreak. The Spirit is saying this is about you healing your heart. You don't have to worry about anything else that's happening here behind the scenes. You worry about you. Focus on you, right? Because let me tell you, the hand that your person is playing, look at this. We got the ace of spades on there. These are like all aces. They're going to take a chance. They're just being strategic about this right now. They're not showing this karmic their hand. So they're telling them anything because I really do feel that your person, should they tie to them, they know what the hell they're doing. Okay? So they definitely know here what they're doing here. And this may be what has been keeping them um, in this connection with them a little bit longer here because there's some stuff that they have over top of your person here that they don't want exposed. But your person here is going to come and have a talk with you. If you guys haven't had this talk yet, it's coming. Y'all are even going to start conversing more, okay? Because I feel like you're going to be open to this. So expect the text, expect the call or something. But you guys have this one-sided relationship. Why? Because your person here may be a little self-absorbed. Okay, it is what it is. Okay, it's so they a little self-absorbed here, y'all. I, I know this ain't you, Virgo, because we always loving and giving and, and thinking about everybody else, right? And we be willing to face the goddamn mirror. Most of us, the Phoenix, new phase. So y'all gonna rekindle? Okay, y'all have to go through this transformation. Look at this. I just seen forty-one, forty-four on the clock. Y'all have to go through this transformation here. Thank you. What is an outcome, or what is it that you want Virgo to know? Continue, yep, shift your perception. And this is what it's about. Your person here has shifted their perception here about you. Um, Virgo, shift your perce perception. But this is um, the air guardian. So this has a lot to do. It's connected with air sign energy is what I'm feeling. But she will unleash the wild within. So Spirit is like, this is your time here to shine, baby. Heal your heart. And you, whatever you passionate about here, unleash that shit. Because you getting ready to shine like a mug. Okay? Or you already are shining right now. And abundance is coming to you. And it's through your gifts okay so your your divine life purpose here is what is um spirit is trying to push you towards i've been speaking about that y'all forever spirit tell me something that virgo needs to hear right now thank you i've been pushing that y'all forever and and if you notice my messages are starting to go more towards giving y'all this purposeful message and not the drama all right but of course life includes the drama right and we need balance um so i'm trying to learn how to balance that out y'all where you'll be able to gain um some insight here and look at this it says new psychic and spiritual experiences y'all unleash those talents and those gifts y'all getting some new psychic experiences here spiritual experiences and they're changing the way that you view everything okay yourself the world the people you're connected to allow your spiritual gifts to open up if you need to do some studying some praying some meditation um do that right but keep charging ahead and you don't take no for an answer expect miraculous solutions to appear in your life because it's happening it's unfolding now and as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart prosperity is coming to you and that's exactly what you're going to get continue to follow your heart i feel like your person is getting ready to follow their heart they're shifting their whole perspective here about you truth revealed right a lot of shit has been unfolding over the last week or two months whatever y'all it's been a long goddamn time okay we're out of mercury retrograde thank god okay we're in the new summer solstice y'all get out there enjoy your life have fun try not to be too heavy too deep feeling too burdened by this situation being emotionally bound to this y'all everything gonna work out in your favor you may can't see the shit right now but if you continue to say everything is working out in my favor i'm good and for my highest good and that's all i'm focused on change the way you are thinking about this situation about this person about yourself change that and shift your perception here to one that's going to serve you and to serve the outcome that you are desiring all right i ain't gonna keep going because i just felt it i felt the whole sermon get ready to come on y'all but i love y'all for real y'all it may sound easier said than done but it's better to try that than to sit and be sad okay or to feel hopeless or to feel conflicted all right or to feel trapped in your head it's a whole lot better to push towards that okay think about it all right 
I love y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Peace.